Hello everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody out there is getting along fine. If not, and you you know you're going through some struggles, just keep up the perseverance, have a little patience, and keep up the prayers. Alright, so today what we're gonna do is replace a valve on the trailer. And this is a valve that feeds uh, four airbags. Um, last couple of days I've noticed that my flatbed has been riding rough. I mean, you know, if, if I hit a bump or something, I hear a, a rattle. And all my boards, which I don't have uh, locked down properly, all my boards were bouncing around. And then I hauled a load of reinforced concrete pipe. And I couldn't keep them things secured for nothing. Even though I had strapped them down in accordance with the DOT requirements, um, just something, something didn't seem right for the load to be bouncing around and, and moving like that and the trailer to ride so hard every time I hit a bump. So anyway, um, so I stopped and checked the trailer out. When I was lubing it um, the other week and you know, just doing general maintenance, I noticed that the bracket um, was busted on it. Uh, you know, the bushings that came out and were connected to the rod control valve in the trailer this thing here was no good so I thought well maybe that had been the problem but when I went to go replace this and got the new kit I was checking with the uh, rod control valve and it didn't have any air going to it um, even though this is broken you know you still be able to move your height control valve and hear it either add air or release air it wasn't doing either of those so I had air in the tank because, um, you know, I re released the, um, open the drain valve on it and air coming out and the brakes are working fine. So I know I got air coming to the tank. I just didn't have air going to the airbags. So I loosened one of the lines on the old valve and I can hear air coming out there, but no air down at the bags or the right control valve. So that tells me that the valve itself is bad. So... And I was going to replace that valve a couple months ago, or might have been a year ago now, but, you know, everything was working fine, so I didn't. So, luckily, I'd already had a new valve on hand. I just needed all the new fittings. So, I uh, went out yesterday, got all new fittings, and made sure they were the right size for the 3-8 hose. Uh, now, I'm just going to cut the old hoses off uh, and stick them in and got the new quick disconnect type or push type um, just replace those put them in there and hopefully get this trailer back up and running because I got a load of sod to run tomorrow actually a couple of loads I believe and this is a universal stabilizing rod for this right here the parts store didn't have this on hand because they said it's uh, specific to whatever rod control valve you get um, but I think these can be bought online if you go to Haldex or some of the other uh, Goodyear, you know, some of the other um, height control valve manufacturers. It's a good thing I haven't completely secured these boards on top of this trailer yet because it's easier right now to replace this valve from the top than it is the bottom. That's the supply.
got both a prop and a jet. I'll see if I can get some footage of that. All right. Now the next two holes. Okay, now I got all the lines going back in. So I'm gonna air it up and make sure I got it running right before I secure everything down and go further. So now we see the valve is good, the airbag is inflated, but still need to fix that height control valve. Without the rod on the height control valve set, as you see the airbag was just, just keep filling up and filling up until either the pressure release or they blow. What that rod does is that determines your rod height. So, you know, you put a load on here and the bags compress, they'll fill back up until they get level again. And there's a process to that um, to determine, you know, what the proper rod height is. Um, I'm gonna definitely have to let some air out, bring these, bring this trailer down and bring these bags down.
And you probably can't hear it, but air is being released now. And this would release air and that would fill it back up or put air back in the bags. And that controls the ride height of your vehicle uh, on the truck and on the trailer. I don't even know why I grabbed those small wire cutters when I got my bolt cutters here. Get these suckers on there. And... Yeah. Alright. Gonna have my Wheaties. Don't want to do is bust that valve because I don't have it then get me one of those and I got a load to run tomorrow early in the morning so running to the store is not an option That's no good. Cheap bolt cutters.
needed a little bit more torque. So fortunately, I still have the old rod and the new one is a universal kit. You know, it comes and you got to cut it to length. So I can just mark it, you know, there and then cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I'll come back and install it. Now, unfortunately, so I left the house without uh, bringing my saws all or anything. So I'm um, have to be a little uh, creative on how I get this rod cut because as you can see, I busted my bolt cutters. But we'll make it happen. So I don't have my saws all or another set of uh, or another saw of any sort. And you see, I busted my big bolt cutters so all I'm doing is taking these small bolt cutters wire cutters what have you and just taking small bites like a beaver all the way around until I get enough of this thing gnawed off where it'll finally cut through or I can just go ahead and bend it I meaning it's gonna take longer than what it should but I'll get it done. Patience, prayer, perseverance. Finally got it cut through there and it snapped while I had a camera off. I was hoping to be able to show you my final cut, but in any event, we got it through. Now this is the rod we'll put back on for the, uh, the height leveling. Now this, this kit, uh, it's a Euclid E7582 adjustable linkage kit. And I got it from Northern Virginia Supply, but any heavy truck parts store should be able to do it. Or any heavy truck parts store should have it uh, in stock or can order it for you. And it's really fairly simple to put together. It doesn't come with any instructions. But you just put your two rubber ends on and then you're going to cinch it down with your clamp. get a socket for that may go a little faster so the screw on this clamp here is either a, a non 32nd or a seven millimeter so I got a seven uh, millimeter socket uh, to tighten it down on the rod here put the other side on maybe get the clamp on there then put that other side on. And again, just tighten it down. And once you get it on the trailer, you know, you may need to uh, adjust. I, it looked like these. All right. Yeah, they're parallel as opposed to perpendicular. lined up right and just tighten it on down
the nuts and bolts here are metric number 10 or 10 millimeter just get a 10 mil 10 milliliter socket and wrench get those tightened down All right, and that's, yep, that's about where it was before. So, we got the uh, adjustment rod back on there. Get this tightened down and we'll get it aired back up, folks. But that's all there is to it. Now I'm back in business, I can run my load tomorrow. All right, folks, that's how you replace a Euclid adjustable linkage kit uh, part number is E7852. It's probably, it may take about 20 minutes if you have the right tools. So that was, uh, it was 716 to take the old bolts out, but to put the new one on, this was metric and it was a number 10. You're going to need either a sawzall or some decent sized bolt cutters to cut that rod to the right length uh, and a ruler really wouldn't hurt you know, be a little bit more specific than what I use but I had the old one that I can go off of and I just use it you know use the old one to measure the length and with the rubber ends on there 
this is adjustable uh, once you get it all together. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Um, like again, it's, it's a really simple job. It doesn't come with instructions. But uh, if you've got any questions, just give me a holler. Thanks. See you on the next one.